Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually just getting ready to clean my Air Force Ones. So I figured I'd like pick up the camera and just kind of like show you guys how I usually do it. I've actually never cleaned them like this way. I just looked it up and like to see how to do it. Cause I know usually people do it with bleach, but I'm like not a very big bleach fan. I just don't really like how like, you know, it stains everything. And like, if you get it on any of your clothes, it'll just freaking drain it out all the color. So I have, have my shoes right here. And like I said, today we're gonna go ahead and clean the laces. So I will show in another video how to actually clean the shoe. Cause I wanna get, I wanna get all the creases and everything out too. And like get these back to white. Let's get started. I'm gonna take you guys with me while I go collect all the stuff. I think what we need is a bowl. I'm using hydrogen peroxide instead of bleach um, and then baking soda together. I feel like that kind of almost amounts to bleach. I just don't like using all that. What is it that's in it? It's like chloride or chlorine. That is just so like harsh, that harsh chemical. I don't, I don't like bleach. Okay, let's go. So I got all my stuff here, the hydrogen peroxide, any kind of like blue laundry detergent will work. I use Tide for my clothes anyways, so that works perfect. And then baking soda and like a, just a bowl that you won't be using for food because we do not want to put our food in here after. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the laces out of these. We gotta take off this little piece too, which is crazy because I haven't taken it off since I got these shoes, so. But look how dark it is right there where it was sitting. All right, so here's both my shoes. They look super weird all naked, but. Okay, so we're just gonna take these shoelaces to the sink and just wash them with some soap and water and then we'll be back. Okay, when you're washing your shoelaces with soap and water, make sure to use cold water because the hot water will set the stains in, just like if you're washing your clothes. All right, and these are already looking better than they did. So we are on track here. Okay, so now for the fun part of actually cleaning my laces. I honestly don't know why I put them in there already because we have to mix up our stuff, so. Okay, you're gonna take your bowl. I'm gonna be honest too. Here, let me move this out way too. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know how much of each thing you're supposed to put in it. So we're just gonna like mix it up and hope nothing crazy happens. I think that sounds like a plan, which I'm pretty sure is fine. I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter like how much of each you put in, but the easiest way to do it, at least what I've found is hydrogen peroxide first. And you just want enough to kind of like, like cover the bottom almost. I know you can't see in there. Mine's probably about like an inch, an inch deep. Next, we're gonna take our baking soda and pour it in there too. And I'm going to be using, you can use whatever you want, but this is an orange stick for like your cuticles. I just had one up in my closet. So I'm gonna use this to stir it. Okay, and honestly, it doesn't need to be all mixed right away because we're actually gonna put a little bit of water in here just to like dilute it down a little bit. For the laundry detergent that you wanna use, you can use literally any laundry detergent as long as it's blue. Just pour a little bit, however much, really not too much. If you wanted to measure it, I'd probably say like up to that first line, but I'm just gonna pour it in there. I feel like I'm making a science experiment. Here, I'll have to show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. So I just put some water in there. Let me not spill it everywhere. That's why it's looking all bubbly. I'm just gonna go ahead and like mix it up some more and get like the rest of that baking soda off the bottom. But once yours is all mixed together, you can go ahead and just toss your laces in there. But we'll get to that in a second. It looks yummy. Good thing I put a towel down, I'm spilling it over here. Once you have it all mixed up in there and like looking all blended, we're just gonna go ahead and toss the laces right on in there. 
Okay, you wanna make sure that they're like all the way covered too. You don't want like some half white parts and half not white parts. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty good to me. They're all nice and mixed up in there. For this next part, you can either leave them inside and like let them sit for 30 minutes to an hour, or if you kind of want to speed it up and maybe make them even wider possibly, you can put them out in the sun and that'll really help to activate like the hydrogen peroxide. It's the same as like lightening your hair in the summertime and stuff like that, like that acidicness will help to brighten it. So we're gonna put ours outside in the sun. So it's been 30 minutes. I am back with my bowl of shoelaces. It's nice and warm from the sun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like take these out of here. And what you'll need to do next is wash them out with soap and water again. I'm pretty sure if you leave like hydrogen peroxide or like bleach or any of those like chemicals on for too long, it can actually make it more yellow than it was in the beginning. So they definitely look whiter though. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, I got them all washed out here. So once you have your laces and they're all like rinsed out. Okay, first of all, sorry, I just need to appreciate. Look how white these are, what? I've never cleaned my shoelaces like this usually. Usually what I do is I put like hydrogen peroxide in the baking soda, which helps too. Because I do that with my Converse too when I clean my white Converse. But using the laundry detergent with the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, oh, beautiful, okay? I cannot believe how white these are. Okay, but now we're gonna go ahead and dry them off because you don't wanna just leave them like soaking wet from the sink. So what I do is I take the towel. Okay y'all, so what I'm gonna do, oh. so take one of your shoelaces. You wanna take the towel and like squeeze your shoelace in there and then just pull it through. Be careful when you get to the second aglet Shout out to Phineas and Ferb for knowing that word. I know all my, my generation people know that. That's the aglet, yes. Once you get to the other aglet, be careful when you're pulling so you don't like rip it off of there or something. I don't know if that would happen, but it sounds like that would be legitimate, like that could happen. So there's the one. Go ahead and do the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and just do mine twice just to make sure. Wow, it's literally so wet. And if you want to, you can go ahead and just give them like an extra good squeeze. There they are. Here are my little finished shoelaces. Wow. Talk about a crispy white finish, okay? They are gleaming. So my shoelaces are all clean. I am gonna leave these out just to dry a little bit more before putting them back in my shoes. And I am also planning on cleaning my Air Force Ones, like the actual shoes next. So like I said, I didn't have time to do it today, but I got my laces cleaned. So we're just gonna leave these to dry, probably at least overnight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my Air Force Ones tomorrow. So I'll have another video of that up too. So that is how I get my laces all nice and white. All right. I hope you guys stick around for the next video where I will be actually cleaning my Air Force Ones and showing how to get like the creases out. Cause I know that's a common thing, at least for like me. I don't know, I know a lot of people. When you're wearing shoes, it's not like you're super worried about getting them creased and dirty, you know? Like I feel like shoes are made to be worn, but that's just me. I know some people are sneaker heads and I definitely understand because I like clean shoes and nice shoes too. But I'm also kind of active, so it's hard to keep them clean when you're doing stuff, that's crazy. So stick around for that video and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, I figured I'd show you guys. Here are my shoelaces. I'm just setting them out to dry. So cute and white. <laughs>